Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, I want to show you a couple different pressure bandage trauma dressings that you may see in my kits, you may see in some other kits on the market. So I just want to kind of demonstrate them, open them up, and show you what they're used for. So take a look at the outside of the package here. This is the six inch version here. This is a four inch version. The four inch version is what you're going to see in my Skinny Medic pocket kit. And I did include the six inch version in my new kit, which is the Skinny Medic Essentials kit. So if we take a look at the outside of the package here, same thing with the rest of North American's gear, you have red pull tabs here, so either side can pull, so that way you kind of get a visual of what you're gonna uh, grab a hold of. So it's got some directions, a little hard to see because everything's shrink wrapped airtight, but we're gonna open up and show you how to use it here. So open up, pull the red tab here, and then your comp compression bandage comes right out. So same thing with the four inch version here. Pops right out. So once we get them open, you can see the size comparison here. Obviously it's the six inch or four inch version. So this one up here is your Israeli bandage. This is the one you are probably most familiar with. There's some similarities to these products and then there's a difference. And I'm gonna show you the similarities and not show you the difference between these products and the Israeli bandage. So as we roll the product out, this is our bandage here. This is where we'd actually put the wound on the extremity, abdominal area, even a chest area. So you can head, pretty much head to toe, you can use this bandage as a bandage. So uh, this is where the wound would go here, and then we unroll, and then there's where the wound would go here. So you do note that you get a larger surface area with the six inch bandage than the four inch bandage. As I roll the Israeli bandage here, you can see this is the area where we would put the wound and then we're going to of course wrap it to create the pressure. Pressure bandage, trauma bandage, this is what these are called. So we have our bandage here. This is where your wound is going to go. See, wound on the other side works pretty good. Then this rolls out and this is the stretching material. So as we wrap it around the wound at the extremity, you pull it tight and that's what's going to create that pressure that's going to hold pressure for you so you don't sit there and have to do it with your hand. You can generate a lot of pressure by wrapping it, pulling it, and then wrapping it again and pulling it again. So you can generate a lot of pressure. With this six inch bandage, you could probably very easily make a tourniquet out of this by pulling and getting enough pressure on it. You can generate enough force to control arterial bleeding with just using a pressure bandage. Now the problem is that this is difficult to do one handed if you're doing it on like an upper extremity. So doesn't make a good tourniquet there, but if you were applying it to someone else, you're applying to a lower extremity, you can make a tourniquet out of a pressure bandage. So then we roll out the Israeli bandage here, kind of the same style material, just got that stretch to it. There again, you're pulling, generating pressure, and then wrapping, securing it. Alright, so we're going to say that the injury is here to my upper extremity. This is where the wound is going to go here. So if this is the wound, you cut it right here. Cut. And then wrap it. As you come around, if you'll pull more pressure tight. So pull around. Pull. And honestly, it's really my leg's kind of throbbing already. So it has a little bit of a Velcro type heel fill here. Slap it on and it's secured. So the Israelis bandage here, same thing, wound on this side now. This is where we put our wound. This is the big difference here now, is you've got this bracket here that you've got to come through and then pull back so you can generate that pressure. Pull back, now we can wrap it. There again, as you come around, if you'll pull here, you can get some more pressure there. And then the Israeli bandage has a clip here. So you can find like your last strand that you ran through and clip it into place to secure it. So now both bandages are secure. So there again, you could use this on extremities as well. You can bandage a head. There again, if you've got a head injury, they're gonna bleed pretty loud. So then you can use this bandage here to wrap around the head and then wrap it around like you would any other gauze. Chest area as well, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to wrap it by myself. You can wrap it around the chest if you get like a flail chest, meaning multiple broken ribs here, 
you can splint that using a bandage like this. Just be really careful not to over compress the chest area because your patient may have a hard time breathing. So if you had some broken ribs, you could use one of these bandages to bandage those broken ribs, kind of split them in place. Abdominal injury is the same thing. You could wrap this around your abdominal injury, kind of support the bleeding, keep the intestines, everything like that on the inside. But you could use that. Just be very careful not to over compress this area because you may hurt the breathing process as well, the expansion of the chest. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remembering the right gear and the right training. All right, so if you stuck it out this long, I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of my new kit. It is available on the website already. I have not done a review video on this yet, but you can see cat tourniquet, six inch pressure bandage. You get two compressed gauze. You get two hyphen chest seals. It's one chest seal, but there's a twin pack in there. You get an MPA. You get an emergency uh, blanket, like a Mylar blanket, a pair of gloves, and then you get a Benchmade seven hook, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. So, Benchmade, of course, has a lifetime warranty, so if you break it, they'll replace it. So, really excited about that Benchmade hook. So, just a sneak peek. I'll do a complete review 